Hello there, and welcome back to this Projects and Enterprise Java course. So last time we ended, uh, created our account system. So today we're going to be starting up our friend system. So we're actually going to have to implement, uh, you know, just adding friends, essentially. And to do this, we need to go to our um, login success.jsp file. All right, so um, here, first of all, let's um, delete this. You have logged in first and in title, let's change it to you. No, let's just change it to home. This is essentially the home. Um, and then here you're going to we're going to have a um, H1 and it's going to be add friends. There we go. OK, here we're going to do S form action equals add friend and then let's do s form here and then in between s form we're going to do s text field key equals name label equals username this is going to be the text field with the uh, name of the person to add. Um, all right, what a what's what seems to be the what seems to be the problem? All oh, right, uh, we didn't actually add the um, uh, the s tag struts tags here uh, tag library. There we go. All right, so now now it's working. So now we can also just do s submit there we go all right so now we have a the option to add the actual friends so right now if we go and do inside um inside our stress.xml file we actually don't have the add friend action so let's create that as well so let's create a new package first of all um, there we go um, the name is going to be uh, what 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 uh, friend system friend system and there we go and so here what we're going to have we're going to have action name equals add friend um, class equals uh, and this is just going to be com eduonics action uh, social network social network action add friend action there we go all right and here we're just going to have a result name equals um, success and it's going to be slash um, login success well no yeah success dot jsp and then same goes for uh, input as well we're also going to have login success to jsp input all right there we go so what's the problem okay so we've got there this right here there we go typo all right we fixed that so now let's actually go ahead and create our add friend action class um, let's do new class and it's going to be add friend action there we go. All right, and so here we're going to go ahead and do public string execute, obviously. Okay, we're also going to get the the session. This is where this is the, where the, where the uh, session that we where. Uh, if you remember in login action, we actually put the user into session here, uh, right here. And this is actually where it's going to come in handy. We're going to get him out of the session here in login success, in uh, uh, add friend action. There we go. So now that we're here, um, let's go ahead and uh, in public string execute, we're just going to return. Let's actually um, extend action support. There we go. Let's import action support and return success. So this should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, 
All right, map. Um, it's going to be um, string object and user session. There we go. Let's import map. All right, let's generate getters and setters. For the map, let's remove these comments since at this point I'm just so annoyed by them. There we go. All right, so now that we have that user session, we can do um, public void validate as well here. There we go. And so inside the validate method, we're going to do if um, let's also we're also going to have a uh, private string name. There we go. And let's also create the uh, get and setter method for that as well. So that's going to be the actual name of the user that we're going to add. All right, there we go. So now in register action, or no, not register action inside of log and success.jsp here, we're going to have the key name, it's going to be automatically assigned to our add friend action here to the string name uh, attribute of the add friend action class. Um, all right, so now that we got that done. Let's go ahead and uh, implement the validate. Well, actually, no, let's not implement. First of all, let me actually put this user session right here. So this is bothering me and then change the position of this right here to under the execute method. So we can have all our all our getters and setters in one place. Um, and then yeah, so now we should be good to go. So now um, we could execute the validate, we could actually implement the validate method. So to do this, let's do um, if or no, 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 let's do if string utils dot is empty. Uh, no, 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 name, there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, add field error. Um, attribute name error message name cannot be empty. And let's return as well. There we go. Then let's do if Okay, we're actually going to need a DAO here. So user DAO, DAO equals new, 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 user DAO. There we go. Let's actually change this position to here. All right, let's import user DAO. There we go. So now we're going to do if DAO don't get user by name. Yeah, and then import insert the name dot is empty. Then we're going to uh, add field error um, name, and the error message is going to be um, user does not exist. Since um, if the what we get back with the get user by name is empty, then obviously we can't actually get the user. And while we're on that note, let's go ahead and do um, here, let's just change it to a list. Uh, user users equals that so we don't so so we don't have to keep doing it. Let's imp whoops nope not Java dot awt. I remember when I learned awt that was a whole thing. Um, there we go. Let's import user as well. Um, awt is a graphic library if you don't know in, in Java. It was like the first one I think, um, and it was it, it's really outdated and it's really not not very good but. Um, when I first learned it, I, I, I thought it was pretty cool because I had no idea how graphics worked in general in computers. So I, I understood the whole, I, well, I didn't understand. I had, I had an idea about how a computer architecture worked and things like that. But I had no idea how all that translated to be an actual, um, you know, image on the screen. So finding out exactly how GUI programming worked, it was like mind blown. But yeah, so that was, you know, that's something that's something pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's go and actually get the I'll, I'll stop rambling on here. Um, so user current users, so this is going to be the current user that we're that's actually logged in right now. Um, and we're going to get a, get him from session, we're going to do user session dot get uh, current user. There we go. Um, and uh, here we're going to do if uh, current user 
dot get username dot equals users dot get zero dot get username. Essentially, here all we're checking is um, if if this uh, current user username is equal to the username that we're trying to add. So that means that we're trying to add ourselves, which which we which we obviously can do. Um, so we're going to add field field error here. Name. Uh, you you cannot add yourself. All right, there we go. Okay, and finally, well, actually, no, not finally. I think this is it for now. Um, so this is great and all. So, and then now let's actually go and uh, exit. Let's do first of all DAO dot close. Second of all, let's do uh, da -da -da -da. DAO. Right here, we're going to create a DAO. There we go. And so this actually work is going to be where we're actually going to go ahead and um, add the friend. Of course, we don't have any place to add the friend because we don't have any place to store the friend right now. So that is what we need to take care of next. So to do this, we're going to go to our um, user class. There we go. And we're going to add uh, at column at column name equals uh, friends. Or no, I'm sorry, this is not, not going to be at column. What am I doing? Uh, we're going to have a uh, private uh, set friends. There we go. Let's import set. There we go. All right. And so here we're actually going to have a um, one too many annotation. So at one too many, um, let's import one too many here. There we go. So that just means that we can have many friends in one user. There we go. So now that we have that done, we can actually go ahead and uh, create the second table. So essentially what this one to many will do is it will create a separate table where we're going to have the ID of the user and the ID of the, his corresponding friend. Um, and so we're going to have that for all the friends. So for example, uh, let me actually go ahead and go to our terminal here. Um, if uh, Arseni here has a friend, Bah, it's going to have a separate table called um, users underscore users, I think. And well, I mean, it's not going to have that separate table. We, we have to create the separate table, that separate table right now. And what it's going to do is actually um, return well, no, not re not really return. It's gonna it's gonna uh, see that the ID of our seni, so one, um, has a friend of ba, so two. So it's gonna add that to our table, and we're gonna have a uh, ID one, uh, user ID one, friend ID two. So we're just, it's gonna be like that. So let's actually go ahead and do that right now. So let's create a table. Um, what, 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 what users underscore users. And let's do ID user ID and user underscore ID, comma um, ID. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. What are we doing? What, what, what am I doing? It's going it's to be ID user ID int and then um, friend friend ID int here as well. Now um, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I don't actually think we need the underscores here. Uh, or actually, you know, you know what? Uh, maybe we do. Let's do users ID. Can't actually click there, can I? Uh, use user ID and then friends ID. Users ID and then friends ID. There we go. Uh, or rather, you know what? You know what? No, let's do user ID. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm just, um, I'm trying to make it so that Hibernate automatically uh, sort of senses this table and uses this information correctly. But um, I, I could configure it myself, but um, I, I think that would just complicate things. And we might as well just use the default values for everything. So just user ID, friends ID, and uh, make sure this matches um, when you're actually creating it on by yourself. Um, otherwise, you actually will have to configure it differently if you change the names here, which, you know, it, it isn't that difficult, but just, you know, we might as well use the default for uh, demonstration purposes here. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, so we should be good to go and we can now actually, uh, oh, by the way, uh, set our methods. 
important not to forget about that. Um, there we go. All right. So now that we have that done, next time we can go to take a look at actually implementing this um, a separate uh, DAO. Well, no, not a separate DAO. In the user DAO, we're going to implement getting the friends and setting the friends. So that should also be pretty fun. But um, pretty fun. Well, I, I keep using the word fun like any of this is fun. I mean, I guess for me it's fun. But you know, if 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 you aren't a programmer, then this would probably seem. Well, I mean, or if you don't love programming, this probably all seems very, very boring, but um, I do, and hopefully you do as well. So for me, this is actually very fun. But these comments, man, I mean, I, uh, in one of the last, um, in one of the last projects that we were doing, I accidentally clicked the uh, set comments method uh, checkbox when we uh, create the getter and setters, and it's saved, and now I hate these comments. I could just uncheck it, but I'm, I'm too lazy. So it's, it's, and they're ruining my life, just to be, to be completely honest with you here. I'm, they are ruining my life. So that's, you know, that's something cool. Anyway, um, I'll stop rambling on as always. Um, creating good comments, actually, it's, it's, it's an art, it's, it's an art form, creating good comments. But, okay, um, I'll see you next time. We're going to finish implementing the um, friend, adding friend functionality. And so that should be all good and well. So uh, yeah, I'll see you there till soon.